Some version 8 gives better notifications about the degrees of freedom. It explains whether the mechanism can move or not, or when any motor is missing. In general, we speak about the mobility of the mechanism. In this example, we start with a mechanism that does, does not have a motor. It's shown here on the bottom on the status bar. No input motion. Mechanism kinematically indeterminate. One time. So that's a kind of the same message. There is no motor or it's kinematically indeterminate. The mechanism can move anyway. And that's not a correct solution. So we will add a motor now. And we will see the mechanism runs as expected. The next step is to show what happens if we add an element which is free moving around. We see on the status bar the mechanism is kinematically indeterminate one time. So there is one degree of freedom too much. If we add another beam, we will see same status bar, but now it's two times. So there are two degrees of freedom. I will remove them now and show what happens when we add another beam in this way, such that the mechanism cannot run anymore. And now we see the mechanism is statically overdetermined. So we have to make we have made too many fixes. So in fact we are missing one degree of freedom such that the motor can do its work. The mechanism cannot move. Okay.